Yeah, so the study design was a phase two trial with multiple different arms. There was one arm that involved uh, patients who did not need surgical resection of their tumor, and that was the primary efficacy arm of the study. Those patients received fractionated stereotactic radiotherapy, which was delivered as eight gray times three fractions for a total of 24 gray. They also received the combination of the PD-1 inhibitor and the Gitter agonist. Uh, those patients were, were simply followed for a primary endpoint of objective response rate. The other arm of the trial was a surgical arm trial. So th these were patients who had clinical indication for resection of glioblastoma uh, in the recurrent setting. So prior to surgical resection, those patients were split into two subgroups. One subgroup were the patients where they had tumors amenable to receiving fractionated stereotactic radiotherapy prior to surgery. So those patients got single doses of the checkpoint inhibitors and fractionated stereotactic RT before surgery. The other arm just got the checkpoint inhibitors without the stereotactic RT prior to surgery. And then we basically collected blood samples and tumor samples from both of those surgical subgroups to compare them and try to understand the effects of the fractionated radiotherapy on the immune uh, microenvironment and systemically.